Hi, I'm Jeff Phillips. Welcome to this episode of Inkscape for Teachers. I have had a uh, how to draw a cone video in the past, but I thought I'd just uh, revisit that with a couple of other techniques you might like to use. First of all, view page grid. And if I click the ellipse and circles tool, see I'm not actually getting a full ellipse there. I'll just click this icon here, delete it and start again. You may well start with a full ellipse and not have that problem. I've got snapping turned on. You can see my snapping tools there. If I click and drag, <coughs> excuse me, drag an ellipse, it looks pretty good. Now if I use the Bezier pen tool, snap onto the side there, up and back and enter. Now I'll get rid of the page grid, view page grid, select tool and zoom in. You can see this problem area here where the uh, elliptical or circular base is extending beyond the sides of the ellipse. Also I want a, dot, a dashed line for the back of the ellipse. So I'm just going to click on the ellipse, press E, and I'm going to take this circle here and drag him within. I'll just zoom across and hold down control it should snap to, to there. Again that looks okay but it, uh, I'll have the problems back when I put in the back of the ellipse. Control D to duplicate the front reflect that and make it dashed over here in the stroke and fill menu and control drag up to the snaps there so still got this problem at the side here now I'm going to fix this a bit differently this time if I click on the bottom lips type E and I'm going to drag this circle up to up to about there to the point where it's the maximum distance from the side of the ellipse and the same on the other side. If I drag that up to about there. Now if I select tool and select the straight side and then end for the node tool. I'm going to drag that node till it snaps on there. And this node I'm going to drag till it snaps here. And that actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, you, yeah, it's probably acceptable. I'll just click on the back ellipse and E for ellipse. You can see I've dragged it right down here. I don't need that. So that might have, sometimes it sticks out. It doesn't there, but um, maybe I'll just drag it back to where I need it to about there. And the same on the other side. It's not really doing a lot, but um, if you're a bit off in previous work, this might fix up a few problems and click again, select tool. Now I'm just going to thicken up these lines. I can't do them all at once, I'll all turn into the same line style, for example all dotted, which I don't want. But let's make it 0.5, same here, 0.5, and the dashed line, 0.5. You might want to make it 0.4 if you don't want the dashed line emphasized as much. And that's a pretty good ellipse if you look here very very smooth and no problem areas. So hope that helps. Once again thanks for watching.